This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Monday, April 15th. The U.S. Coast Guard spent the weekend searching for a Holland America crew member who went overboard before the ship docked in Port Everglades over the weekend. The incident was first reported around 11.18 on Saturday morning when the ship docked in Port Everglades. Now, security footage reviewed by the cruise line showed that the crew member purposely went overboard at approximately 9.45 on Friday evening, just 20 miles south of Marathon Key. The Coast Guard and authorities spent the weekend looking for the crew member. However, on Sunday, the Coast Guard said, quote, after searching over 538 square nautical miles, the search for the 33-year-old crew member of the cruise ship Rotterdam has been suspended pending the development of new information. And Princess Cruises has announced significant enhancements to its main dining room services across all of its fleet, including three table service options. These new ones are going to be traditional, reservable, and walk-in anytime. Each ship will feature dedicated dining rooms for these services, which include fixed early and late seatings for traditional dining, the reservable dining times, and an open seating arrangement for walk-in dining uh, diners. Rather, This new dining approach has been successfully piloted on Sun Princess and will start fleet-wide on September 14th. And Royal Caribbean has announced its 25-26 cruise season from Australia with bookings now open for 45 sailings on two different ships down under, Anthem of the Seas and Voyager of the Seas. For the first time, Anthem will be based in Sydney, offering a range of 24 cruises lasting between 3 and 18 nights. Meanwhile, starting December of next year, Voyager of the Seas will operate from Brisbane for the first time, doing 20 cruises to the South Pacific, New Caledonia, Bali, and Singapore. And cruise line stocks were down on Friday. Carnival Corporation down 4%, 14.36. Royal Caribbean down 4.6%, 127.67. And Norwegian down the same, 17.77. If you have a lead on a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Monday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. Behind-the-scenes content and extras are now available at patreon.com slash cruiseradio. 